Hey everyone, Meosity here. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So today the plan is to go into the Farmstead Plus, where the comet fell, to go and get the Helm of Horror for the Lawbringer. It's debuff chance plus move chance plus stress. Just basically leveling up the Farmstead, getting a fun trinket, and finally bringing out the Navigator to play with her now that I've done a little bit with her on my testing estate. And I have a little bit of a... Uh, understanding with her now that being said the way i'm going to be using her today is in the front line so she's going to be using behead kind of using broadside as a buffer rather than using whirlwind which might have more of an aoe situation going kind of acts like a buffed version of hue if i understand it correctly uh so broadside is going to kind of debuff her while buffing herself for damage reflection or giving herself blocks uh then disrupt to Put the Voltile on someone else if I'm understanding that correctly. And then Singularity to act as a pull. I'm also going to be running Namiri, or Namiri the second. Uh, kind of going into a guard spec again. That's why we're bringing both the Buffonada and the Amethyst Head. That way she does both extra damage and extra damage will mark. And so Amethyst Head makes her restoration that she does to herself do even more restoration. Uh, then keep them busy because she will be marked. And that way she gets a repost. And then just damage to stunned because we also have the Bogatir who will be focusing on stunning targets and healing. And then the guard target is going to be the Bombard because I've mainly used him as a fire team support. And I'm going to be using him as basically Kaboom and stun support today. So let's get that actually set up because I haven't changed his skills over and I think we'll be good. Now, little quick note about the Navigator. I do have some fun trinkets for her, uh, namely the Conservation of Momentum. It would give me plus 10% more melee damage on her skills, and any melee attack would give her plus speed, which would counteract the fact that anytime she uses a melee skill, she gets minus speed and minus uh, the melee skills, so like the first attack would almost be nullified and she would never get the um, speed down. However, it does give a minus 8 accuracy to melee skills and the one that I'm going to be using today has a 80 accuracy as is. So that would actually bring it a lower accuracy than the leper and I don't have anything on her today or on the group as is to up our accuracy. So I'm a little leery about bringing that today, but I might bring that in the future if I like the behead move and style. So let's go and do this. I know I'm bringing a little much on food, but once again, I don't trust the Bogatir as a healer too much, so we're going to also be using it as uh, just to heal. Then we'll bring some keys, and we're going to need these to get into uh, Kyrios. And I was very tempted to bring her as a ranged character, but I kind of wanted to try this first since this is kind of what I had in mind for the backline. It just kind of worked out. Okay. The horror. So, screw the chicken in particular. So I'm going to make it votile so we do more Crit versus it. And that's what this mark is, I believe, and that's why her sword isn't glowing anymore. That would be if she's votile. Destroy. And it's down. And then we're going to up everyone's speed and stun chance. I don't feel like I need to kaboom these guys. So what we're going to do... What would fire in the hole do? 30... I mean 50-50 of hitting the egg. I'll take that. Back to the pit. Returns. And then keep them busy. You might actually almost take out a crofter. 
Not how I intended doing this group, by the way, but it works. Concussive Blast. Lovely debuff there, minus speed plus crit received. We have Votile back. So... Singularity does the most like this. Continue the onslaught. Nice little pull. Them all. And then just wipe out this crofter. And I'm guessing Besiege does the most here. So I'll throw the Targe. Or I think it's a Targe. It might just be a different shield there. Alright. Next room. Believe it's Ladonum there. No, Tarja is from a different set of people. I don't know what shield that is. Alright. These guys are a bit tankier. And have a repost, if I remember right. We're going to be a bit more careful. I put the wrong move on him. <laughs> oh boy. I need to change something out after this fight. For some reason, I was thinking Winter's Breath was the one that did stun, not Cold Snap. And he can't Cold Snap in this row either. Interesting. I may change things around since I can. Uh, we will do... BC, you should try to shuffle the Taskmaster. Then... Let's disrupt... The Frozen Crofter here so I can be head. Nope, okay. Well then... We will... Singularity to pull. I'm not remembering the moves correctly. We're gonna kaboom them. And she can't guard. Because they're blocking. Alright, well then. Keep them busy. Uncertainty, the birthplace of dread. That's a damage buff, correct? Speed and protection. Oh hell. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I deserve that one. Fire in the hole. Surprise that hit again. Uh then we can behead this crofter. I'm actually not sure what happens if someone other than Navigator takes out the uh, Votai one, but let's try to get the Taskmaster down here. Festering fear consumes the mind. I don't need to heal yet. I can't be siege the one I want, so we'll hit him. Crofter. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Got Votile back. Seed of Madness there to take out for a nice little heal. Might take that on Loki. Press this Taskmaster down. No quarter. can try fire in the hole again. Surprise of 50-50 is hitting so often to be honest. Why? B 
betrayer. So he healed by betraying. Interesting. And you hit the corpse. Another one falls. Get rid of the aberration. Executed with impunity. And I don't necessarily need to get rid of that. So. Let's do Singularity. Darn. Well, we could try that again. Even with the movement chance up. <laughs> You can take out the crofter. I think if the crofter goes down, honestly, uh, the aberration goes away. If I recall correctly here. Yeah. All right. So let's fix this really quick. Triumphant pride Because half the reason I wanted a stunner was so I can use fire in the hole for the plus accuracy plus crit. And I messed that up somehow. So if he needs to be in the front row, we'll do cold snap. And then that changes you to the back, which means you're not using the melee skills, which means it's a good thing I didn't put that trinket on you that I originally had wanted. I will still have Disrupt on. Singularity, Shooting Stars, which seems like it's a version of Whirlwind, but better without the debuff. Interesting. And I'm not sure if I want Nullify or Broadside. Broadside has better funsies chance, I think. And we'll switch that. We'll go in here. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. I mean, a trinket's a trinket, yeah. Right, who's good with traps here, honestly? 50s, 80. You need it more. And a loss of 25% chance. Darn. The exception. All right, sky tainted hens need to go. Well, let's see what this does. So this is versus Votile. So let's transfer it with the disrupt. Yeah. Now I don't know an elf. Is that really the one I wanted to hit? I thought I clicked the hen. Anyway. On Volatile Transfer, refreshes use. So, I mean, let's gain our block and see if we get Volatile back. No. I know what the horse he is up to. So this may not be the best plan. Stun you, that's a miss. Guard ally, not that this is gonna do much for me. Yeah, that was not the best plan. Plan two. Is a rarity in the we do need that heal. Too bad I didn't put Dwarf Toss on her. Ah, uh, you... We're all messed up here. Good thing we got that Aegis when we did. Just gonna do that for now so I don't waste a thing. 
because I don't want um, Tamara to move back where she was. Keep them busy. Get the repost. That way they might attack her. Well, this dude, chicken. Might take chicken out. Up speed. Now we're in a slightly better position. Oh, screw you, chicken. Screw you. That's why I don't like him. Uh, we will Singularity again. Move forward. Heal. And then the Bombard can move back and we should be mostly good. Until we get shuffled again. <laughs> Actually, not the worst. Oh, couldn't uh, do anything about that, huh? Okay, singularity against the horse, because I can. The greater the glory. I wanted to do the shooting stars, but that's gonna have to wait. Cold snap chicken. Now I have accuracy versus chicken. Fire in the hole Annihilate. against the chicken. Screw the chicken. Yes, I will commit war crimes against these chickens. Alright, just for the heal. Chicken. Plan two. Reflect self to death. I mean, you you do you. You do you. Fire in the hole. Obliterated. Who else would use grenades against chickens other than this crew? Go ahead and tell me. I don't know. Trick of the light. I have enough food that I can just use to heal. Uh, then, do I want the jades? Because I do want the money. I don't think I'm going to need the bandages. I got enough of everything else. So I probably can do this, honestly. Alright, cool. Hopping down for this little curio here. I don't think she has anything that interacts, mind you. Like with, um... Curios, but I'm just kind of using her. Now, she does have something that for every, like, money thing, uh, she gets uh, better skills. So, like, extra repost duration, extra guard and regain duration, stun chance, move chance, and damage per currency type. And I know for a fact that the gems count as a currency type. So that's actually not a bad thing to take. Uh, and I doubt I'm going to be taking the coin bug cracker. Or like actually using that other than to sell it. So there, this is like one of the few case uses to take a citrine in this case. Is just to power up Namiri. It's not a great one. It's like 5% damage. 50% duration on regain, though, and 25 on keep them busy. That's somewhat nice. Thanks. Okay. So, right off the bat, disrupt the eggs. Oh. What? I collect the egg. I clicked the egg. Oh, if Votile random target. Okay. That makes more sense. Blow. 
that part I wasn't reading. That's on me. That makes it slightly harder to use, but that's fine. Uh, do they even have stun resistance? Nothing but the crafter there. So what I can try to do is fire in the hole, then guard Squimbo there. Because if I can stun you, which was a fat chance, I can then guard him. And then they go a kaboom. Right, I can't guard because of the crafter. We can keep them busy. And screw the egg. <laughs> Just smash it to pieces. Not sure how she uppercut an egg, but screw the egg. That's right, like everything in here has reach. And now he has three health because He's taken that so many times. I need the medicinal herb him. I really do. All right, easy money, get the vine. Axe versus vine kind of wins. And then let's see what happens here. Just need the crofter kind of down. So let's do shooting stars. No real good way of hitting it. Hey, buddy. There you go. Three of 27 health now. Let's uh try to get the aberration to heal a bit. Cleansed from our lands. Actually, I can do this just to heal him. Because <laughs> he's not looking good after that. Uh, none of these let me attack him. So I'm just going to up the damage he receives. Ah, that's unfortunate. That was my one kind of worry, is that the navigator with how I have her positioned now doesn't have a way to hit row one. So I could take off broadside and get nullify for that. Hey, hey Loki. Are you still a betrayer? Awesome. Free loot. Gonna take it. I'm actually pretty sure I still have these earrings, but we'll take them for now. I'm gonna go up and around. That way I just have a use for these shovels, if I'm being totally honest. And then I get here, can go here if this is a battle room. I'll do the battle, then I'll come back down. Alright, so a full setup. There's no crystal line thing stopping me from guarding, so I actually can do this setup. Uh... So this would do 3 to 6 and 2 to 4. Or I can do disrupt. Hopefully hit what I want. Or not. I mean, this maybe takes out the vine. Otherwise, damage to these two and screw the egg. Good enough. Undine fodder, that way he's guarded. Unless one of them does an AoE now. They go kaboom next turn. We're gonna heal, because uh, 
keeps hurting just just a little bit. And it paid off. I tried. I really tried there. Maybe that's a round two thing I need to do. That way she's set up with her post and mark. Okay, Vine can go while shooting star. Oh, that's, I used the wrong move, okay. I have these kind of set up in a wonky way. Um, I'll take the 50-50 on the egg. Unfortunate. Okay, cold snap can hit this, but it's not going to take it out. So let's go for the vine. If I don't take it out, it's probably stuck. 10% resistance, wasn't it? Frailty finally claim their due. Okay, got the egg. Unfortunately, did pull it. Uh, if I shooting star, now nah, we're doing singularity. Screw the egg. <laughs> oh boy. Screw it, we're trying it again. Sunder the aberration. Guard him. Then we'll see what happens. Screw you in particular, sir. Every single time I hit it up, double hit, or two attacks in a row, or they'll stun, or AoE hit. No, he's not getting it off. I also thought she'd be doing a lot more damage right there. Can you? No. So just concussive blast. I don't care about the repost. Get rid of the dreamer or the messenger. Then she recovers from stun. Next turn, I take him out. There we go, that's a bit more damage. Uh, you need another one of these. And we'll do fire in the hole and hope it hits like that. Taking what I can. Going to the right. Creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Oh hell. He has a random attack chance for their next battle. Huh. We'll, we'll get rid of that. And it's a bunch of vines. Guess what I'm not doing? 
Actually, only one of them has a chance to stun. However, that being said, I'm still not doing it. <laughs> Namiri's already stunned. The one attack that could stun got her. Uh, I'm gonna gamble on this. So I got him. Now I do 100% damage versus him. Do fire in the hole against one that has two actions yet. Stun the big one. Actually, no. Up speed. Shooting star again, hopefully taking out the vine, because otherwise I don't do nearly enough damage. There we go. I mean, she's taking hits like she's supposed to. I'll give her that. Can we get rid of the feeble divine there? All right, then just the one left. Let's try to stun it. So then if I fire in the hole, it's gone. 88% chance to hit for its health and minimum damage. All right. This promises <sighs> success. Are you using our camp? Trying to de-stress, so Gathered close do that. Tenuous firelight, an uneasy companionship. What do we got here? Scout chance. We have Onyx, so that would be dodge and crit, which would be nice. And minus his or minus her stress. Oof. Yeah, that's how we'll have to do this. All right, just encourage, encourage. That helps the stress. Consult Grimoire for debuff chance and minus stress. Then, I, I'm not gonna be using that. So what we're gonna do is plus dodge, plus crit, plus speed. I know it's gonna stress everyone else out, but uh, then no one else has anything. It looks like we kind of avoided some stress there, so we'll see. Thankfully not a nightmare, just an ambush, which we can deal with. All right, uh, screw this guy. If I can hit him. Or if I miss, it takes up my move and isn't a free action. Interesting. The will to fight falters. Up our speed. A brilliant confluence of. I think the treasurer is going to get away here. Unless I can do something incredibly stupid. I can. A boom. Because she can guard him. And then I need to pull the uh, Fusilier. Who I hit. But now it's only a pull two. So now we need that dodge. Oh, 
Oh wait, still hits Namiri. Okay. Need to heal. Kaboom. Keep them busy. We'll try this, shooting stars instead. Thankfully. <laughs> Got rid of the one that could get rid of the kaboom. But now they're both within shanking range, which is not great. And he did get away, which is fine. Kaboom. Masterfully executed. And there he goes. So take the money, I can leave that default order. She's not bleeding for much, I can move to the side. Eighty percent chance I'm taking that, and we gotta do this battle room right here. Ooh, Taskmaster again. On the wrong spots, too. I didn't put her one back. Oh, well. What we're gonna do is, uh... Just fire this off. And then I wanted to Singularity and try to take out this vine, because it can stun. I think my best course of action would be to do fire in the hole and probably take out one of the vines here if I can. I went for the one that had the better chance of being taken out because these two are stunned. There's another chance someone's getting stunned in next turn. Let's try this again. Let's just disrupt. Oh, wait. For some reason, I was thinking that uh, she had another votile. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You can only put one out. And then she passes, which almost as bad as a stun. We're gonna do hell. Can't move. We're gonna heal. I was gonna heal, but I wanted to get Tamara where she needed to be. And that's not going to be the case. And I'm going to risk it. I know this has not been working out. I'm going to watch him get hit now. Alright, let's Singularity take out this, because that's an AoE when it goes off. If I remember right. Kaboom. I honestly didn't think that would go off. Well, it went off. I'm happy about that. Take you out, just Taskmaster left, and maybe Aberrations to heal off of? Just cause shooting stars will do more damage. Well 
well struck. One health left. And no, that would just make it um armed again. So concussive blast takes him out. Taking what I can. Brought low. We're going to heal. Just take that for now. And I don't think additional things of money power her up anymore. All right, down to the middle battle room here. Frickin' snail. On the plus side, I can get away with some stuff here. Oh, that's... that's not... that's not... good. No. What have you done? I know it's a shuffle, but what have you done? Oh, hell. All in. Oh, she... I, I think I broke her. I think I broke her. Is it gonna go away without me clicking? Okay. Uh... Yeah, Undine Fodder. Good thing we did that. Done. The eggs are gonna go out just from the uh, burst. So. Let's stun you. Someone can come out of here with uh, virtue. No uh, that's all right. No hope at all. I I can't hit the snail, so let's just do shooting stars. And kaboom! Oh no! Well, at least it didn't one-hit KO him. And then this does less damage for the Reflect. <laughs> oh, boy. I want the deeds. Killer. Well, I could go home now. I could go home now. I think there's more of a chance to get the uh, Comet Shards, though. So we'll take that. As long as no one's gonna have a and heart attack hold like that, huh, Namiri? Hold fast, or expire. Can I bust it open with a shovel? A handsome reward. I can bust it open with a shovel. Well performed. Y'all can eat. What do I get from you? More comet shards. That's awesome. Gotta love it. More curios here. Really, Namiri? I, I might actually have to address that. That'll give her 15. Can read this one if you need it. It's 
So we'll give her this. I have one more to use on Akiria, which might be around here. Oh, lovely. To be spent. Yeah, that's silfish for you. I can pop this. More comet shards. I'm bringing back 53, which is almost half my supply I had back home. I think I have 97, something like that. Before you can change your mind, I'm taking it. <laughs> and this one's another anti venom. Let's take what I can. There's no curios here, I think. All right, there was there was a trap there though. That's for sure. All right, let's get out of here before someone bites it. All right, so I I do think I liked the melee navigator more. I do like the navigator though. Just uh, has a few quirks to uh, figure out yet. Like I think that was my second run ever with them. Got twelve thousand gold. Few busts. Few portraits few deeds. Hell on four for the Lawbringer. Have a few thoughts for the uh, Navigator that I'll get to when uh, we get back to the Hamlet because it'll make more sense if I'm saying the uh, trinkets that I'm thinking of when I have them available to look at. Got Natural for Namiri, which is really good stuff if she's not wearing trinkets. I'm not a big fan of that one. Tuckered out, minus damage if HP below 50%. Minus 10% damage if HP below 50% is not great, but it is a negative. Uh, cave Phobe on Tamra. We got Faithless and Loki, which is also not great. Tranquil Mind. So plus accuracy minus stress on pretty good. Although we did get Hookworm and then Squimbo, our uh, <laughs> community named Bombard here, got Tactless, which is another thing that should probably get removed. Uh, Loki hit level two where everyone else got to level one if they weren't already. There is a great horror beneath the man. All right, so Loki. Chaos that must be destroyed. I do need to get Faithless off of him, but I think I want to get Hookworm off first because of minus 20%. Actually, no, we're going to get Faithless off first and then get Hookworm. So I remember that course of action. And then he needs treatment. Squimbo. Tactless can go away. And then, oh, stagecoach quick. I lost my past librarian, so that's actually really good. However, um, we're not we're not gonna name her Ross. I I don't think that fits very well. Now we'll go with that one. And since she is level one, she comes with everything already purchased and some decent gear. I really, really like that. <laughs> okay, so here on Tamra, I do think that this conversation of momentum would be a actually really, really good trinket. The thing is, I think you have to be using Whirlwind, which is a higher accuracy move, or level up, behead a bit more to use it, just because that minus accuracy, a level one, or the level two version of it here would bring it in line with it being a seeker accuracy on the leper if you had that which is painful leper misses so often for me or a whirlwind would bring it down to an 87 something like that which is not bad accuracy especially at apprentice levels probably could use broadside a bit more especially for the blocks and the reflection i could probably also get used to using nullify more but that seems like it's more useful on things that won't die quickly which would be mini bosses roaming bosses and bosses themselves i don't know uh shooting stars in singularity they seem like they have the potential to be a real blasty thing they just were not hitting hard there so maybe they get stronger that's a thing to see for later so i do have very high hopes for her I, I just did not want to pop this onto a Seeker just because of the minus accuracy and I really wanted to do the melee version of her. Well, if I did that, she would have worse accuracy than a freaking Leper. <laughs> Something doesn't seem right about that. But she does have some nice synergies with like the orbital grip if she was getting hit and then she has the ability to mark herself with a broadside, which I wasn't doing, but she did get more health just from having this. 
and plus damage received and giving damage reflection. That is a very cool use. So if other trinkets kind of end up like that, things could be very fun very quickly. Uh, other than that, that group didn't quite work out the way I thought it would, if you uh, couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, I thought I would be able to use, what was it? Kaboom a bit more. Everything had AoEs or was like just bombarding him to the point where like they got through the guards and stuff like that. And it was a little ridiculous. So we'll have to see what happens next time. But the first boss in the farmstead plus is available, which is the time distorted Miller again. So I don't think that's much different than the original Miller other than it's in a normal dungeon. And then the boss after that is very different. But he does have a very, very nice trinket for the White Priestess. I don't think I have that one. It's a very easy way to tell if I can find her. Yeah, I don't have that trinket for the White Priestess, and it's a nice one. On attack hit, gain an additional last fight charge, so that would charge twice as fast, which is kind of like her nukes. So I think I will be doing this next. Uh, I'm not sure, once again, which group I'll be going in with, but that'll be it for this time. Really helps out the channel if you like the video, if you like it, dislike it, if you dislike it, comment, subscribe, and all that YouTube jazz. And otherwise, as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time, and please have a good one.